What is up everyone? Welcome to today's video. I hope everyone is safe and well. Um, you know, as much as we can be in these in these you know these weird times. Um, welcome to today's video. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna it's gonna be a short and sweet one today. Um, I'll try at least. Uh, it's gonna be yeah, taking you through through the three things that I wish I knew before I started lifting. So the first thing that I wish I knew is that this, you know, building muscle takes time. Like, you know, before I started going, I thought, you know, within a week or a couple of weeks, you know, I'll be looking, you know, I'll be going up a size in the t-shirts, you know, I'll be looking so much different. And in reality, guys, like, yeah, this this takes time. It takes, you know, consistency. It just, you know, as long as you keep showing up, as long as you keep, you know, doing what you're supposed to be doing, like you will see progress, you know, and that's unfortunately I think that is why a lot of people um, you know, slip off their programs is because, you know, they expect these instant results and, you know, I'm, I'm the same, like, or I was the same, you know, I, I, you know, I used to think, you know, I'll do a few bicep curls or, you know, I'll do the bench press three times and then, you know, suddenly I'll be, you know, be able to bench in, you know, be able to bench two plates or yeah, you know, have a much bigger chest. And in reality, guys, it's just, it's just not the case, unfortunately, you know, it takes time and it takes consistency. Um, it takes a lot of effort, but once you get there, like I promise you, it's it's worth sticking at it. So, yeah, if you if you if you're like me, or if you think the same as me now, if you're getting into your your lifting career, like just just persevere, um, and yeah, I promise you, you will get there eventually. Okay, the second thing that I wish I knew um, many years ago now is that nutrition is equally, if not more, important than training. Like honestly, nutrition, I would say, is sort of you know 70 to 80 percent of the work like if you're if you're going to the gym guys and you're you know you're working you know, you've got a you know an efficient training program you're progressively overloading um you know you're you, you keep going each week like if you're not eating enough calories essentially um you're just not going to see any progress you're not going to make any gains because you know at the end of the day um food equals growth in terms of muscles like if you're not fueling your body um you know correctly um you know, if you're not getting in enough calories, then unfortunately your body's just not gonna be able to, to meet the demand of that muscle growth. When I first started originally, um, you know, I just wasn't eating enough. You know, I'd be going, I mean, my program wasn't too great anyway. You know, I didn't really know what I was doing. Um, but yeah, I was going sort of, you know, twice a week, three times a week maybe. And yeah, my food, just calorie wise, I wasn't getting enough in. Um, so yeah, you know, the, the, the weight on the scales never moved. Like, um, you know, what I looked like in the mirror didn't really, you know, I didn't really see any progress and you know, it's so demotivating guys like you know but yeah you just need to to focus on your nutrition um you know if you're starting out if you're a hard gainer especially like like me um just don't worry too much about what food you're eating just make sure you're getting enough um you know and use apps like you know my fitness pal um to be fair i mean i'm sure there's others but my fitness pal is the one i use um you know it's great for just look you know you can you can scan the barcodes now these days like it's so easy to to see how much you're consuming um so yeah don't necessarily worry about you know how much protein you're getting in or you know how many carbohydrates and how many fats just focus on getting enough calories and eating enough so yeah what i suggest is you know um eating consistently for seven days tracking your weight you know at the same time each morning um and then take an average over that week um, and if your your body weight is going up, um, you know, as an average, then stick at it. You know, stick with the same sort of diet. If you know it's staying the same, then that's your maintenance calories, and therefore you you know that you need to eat more um, in order to gain weight. And yeah, you know, don't you know, it's a it's a marathon, guys, not a sprint. Like, you know, it, it takes time to you know you can't just go from eating nothing to eating you know, the right amount of protein, the right amount of carbohydrates, the right amount of fats, but what you can do is, you know, build up slowly. So if, you're, if your appetite isn't that great and your diet, you know, you, you know you're not eating enough, then just, just try each day to eat a little bit more. And then once you get to a point, you know, that, you, that you're happy with, then just, you know, track it using MyFitnessPal consistently for a week or two weeks, take an average, um, and yeah, then go from there. Okay, so the last and final thing that I wish I knew is progressive overload. Like progressive overload is so important. It's, you know, all, each of these things guys are like, they're intertwined together. Like, you know, if you do one and don't do the rest, you're not really gonna see progress. So you need to do them all, you know, collectively. Um, 
but yeah, progressive overload. So what I mean by that is, you know, if you're going to the gym and benching, you know, 60 kilograms for five sets of five, you know, week in and week out, like initially that's going to develop a response, you know, a muscular response and, you know, your, your muscles will, will adapt to that and will grow. But, you know, if you keep doing that same weight, unfortunately your, you know, your muscles will get used to it and will adapt to it and therefore, you know, will find it easier. Um, and it, you know, there'll be no sort of fibers to break down and, you know, allow it, allow them to grow bigger. Um, so yeah, you know, if you're going in and doing 60 kilos, you know, for five by five, so five sets of five reps, then maybe next, you know, the following week do 62.5 kilos. Okay. So put a 1.25 kilogram plate on either side. Um, and therefore you're doing more weight. Uh, now you can also, you don't have to increase the weight all the time. You can increase the um, intensity, although that it, you know, especially for beginners, that can be hard to sort of measure. Um, so I would, I would suggest, um, especially if you're starting out, is to you know, progress with the weight, um, but also progress with the, um, you know, the reps as well. So for example, if you're doing, uh, let's say dumbbell curls. So if you're doing three sets of, you know, eight reps at 10 kilograms one week, then maybe try the following uh, weeks and the following session to do three sets of nine reps. So you're therefore increasing the amount of workload being done. Um, you know, and that's gonna be a fantastic way again to develop that, you know, that muscular response um, and allow them to grow. So yeah, progressive overload guys, so important. Um, along with nutrition, um, yeah, it's just, you know, and, and as well as that, you know, having that mindset that it does take time, like it really does take, you know, time. But once you start seeing those results, you know, it may be three, four, five, six months, you know, it may be a year before you actually start noticing, you know, real progress yourself. Um, I think others notice it before you do. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, it definitely took me a long time, probably about a year, to be honest, to actually look in the mirror and think, you know, I've actually made a difference here. You know, I've changed, you know, I've changed my physique, but yeah, it, it does take time guys, but persevere with it. Um, you know, work on those three things that I've mentioned and yeah, I promise you, you'll get there. Next video is gonna be a bit more interesting, hopefully, hopefully a bit longer. Although, yeah, I don't know, I do tend to waffle a bit. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys soon.